Hey, it's Claude Johnson here with GuitarControl.com. I'm going to give you a real quick mini lesson on how to spice up any chord instantly. So all you do is add another finger that you're not already using. Let me give you a couple examples. So let's say you're playing a C, you know, regular C major chord. So I can take my pinky, which I'm not using, and let's say I add it to my G string third fret. Now I have a C7. Nice chord. Now let me try adding it to, uh, instead of the G string, how about the B string third fret? Nice. It's a C add nine. Here's another example. Let's say I'm playing a B minor seven bar chord up here, the seventh fret. What if I add my finger to the G string ninth fret? Wow, now I've got a different chord, huh? So that's a B minor 11 chord. And uh, that particular chord, um, I showed it to my friend the other day. He's like, wow, where, where's that chord been all my life? So <laughs> that particular chord wants to, feels like it wants to resolve, right? So. One, one thing you can do is just like B minor 11 down to B major. Okay. Um, what else? So not every chord is going to sound great. You know, this B minor 11 sounds great, but... What if I added my pinky like on the E flat or something? Whoa. So, but use your ear um, and you'll quickly discover different chords, different ways to, to add um, your fingers and create different variations. And some of these variations are gonna sound good in an existing progression. Like if, for example, if I go back to the first one I showed you, the C7. Let's say I'm playing a progression like C to F, you know. I could play C7 to F. Still works. Um, so it depends on the context. And just, again, just use your ears. So, again, you can click the link in the video description to get the tabs. And also, if you want to check out my Ultimate Beginner Guitar Course, Go to guitarcontrol.com slash beginner. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.